music is loud. Oh no. does something a little bit, I guess. I'll just get really close to the microphone. Turn the music down even more, I guess. Eh? Is that better? I have no clue. I'm not sure. But that's where we're at. Music is louder, voice is louder. That is what I want. I want everything to be loud. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but yeah, uh, possibly more technical difficulties ahead. Like I was saying a second ago, I swapped everything to OBS. using Streamlabs OBS for everything before. Um, mostly because of the way that their chat setup is over there, but then I found out you can just kind of use it like as a plugin. I was hanging out in uh, Marshmallow. Bear stream. Marshmallow Bear. I can't remember if that's like his actual t like handle or whatever. I always just call him Marshmallow. Um, but yeah, he was talking about a, uh, a bot called Mix It Up Bot. I guess it had started from like Mixer being a thing. Or got got, so no one uses that anymore. Um, but I started using it, uh, the mix it up bot, I mean, and it's very good, actually. So because of that, uh, I end up changing a lot of like stuff. I didn't get quite as much done today as I wanted to, though, um, because Twitch also added a thing where you get like follower emotes now. this person has is a little like it feels like it's a little more uh, complimentary of that figure but that's fine 
this boy. Right further this way. thing is new emotes, but that'll probably come later, maybe by the time I stream again after this one, but who knows. Oh, and I changed um, the hugs thing. I made them channel points now to give you guys something to spend channel points on, I guess. <laughs> But I also updated them. It now has uh, Cecil and Ross. And I updated some of the text for uh, the responses you get for the other boys, too. person's hand is like fully in their pocket, um, but I don't want to do that. I want his hand to be like kind of in front of it, but that doesn't feel like it makes any sense. Everyone's weekend. I hope everyone's doing well. Good. I'm glad to hear that you're good. Silver, hello. Appreciate the uh, well wishes there, Silver. Thank you, Ice Jam. We're all about the chill vibes here.
do my best. like this comes forward oh I guess I could like share this is the uh, reference I'm looking at but we're making it a Jesse instead instead of this random cool boy kind of sad that I did the uh, alerts before the emotes now because the alerts happen so much less frequently. But maybe if nothing happens there will be a way I can like test them on stream for you guys. part of the reason why I swapped uh, to just straight OBS was because I wasn't really using Streamlabs all like that. I feel like I've had to uh, 
stop myself from drawing a little too much. Because anytime I feel like I've drawn tank too much, I'm like, oh, I'll just draw Roz instead today. Because even though Roz has a lot of, like, details to remember on his face, he has a lot of, like, non-complicated details to remember. If that makes sense. good day and then suddenly my car was like hey but what if you had a problem to deal with <laughs> I'm hoping it's nothing um, it was just like a little indicator that was like hey you have low tire pressure coming on in your car suddenly now uh, which is normally not a cause for concern but the last two times that it has happened to me, it meant that I was about to have a flat tire and I didn't do anything about it. So I ended up having to like do something about it in a very inconvenient way that involved like calling a tow truck and stuff. Um, so this time I was like, all right, I'm just gonna take it to the car place immediately and hope I am just overreacting here because um, I don't want to have to like attempt to call a tow truck on Thanksgiving or something because that sounds like the most annoying thing in the world especially because the last time I called one I had to wait for it until like I almost missed the drawing that day because I was waiting so long for this tow truck. I called it at like 7.30 and it didn't get to my house until like almost one in the morning. So I had to do like a very, very, very fast drawing that day. Um, but hopefully it's not a big deal and they just need to put air in the tires. can be um, but that's like the thing that's annoying to me about this situation right now is because uh, I just had to spend far too much money on this car um, like two weeks ago and I was like oh, okay whatever it's fine just deal with it. But it's not like it's an old car. Like it's a new car. And I had to spend money on it. Like a lot of money. <laughs> Which is not a thing you normally have to do for a new car. But it's like a huge, it's like extra annoying because uh, it's like a lease and the lease is like up in like December or something. So I'm basically just waiting for a different car to come in, but it's not here yet. So I have to deal with whatever happens to this one in the meantime. It's super annoying. Better mass transit would definitely be lot better for a lot of people. Uh, so I am with you there, Nick. It's beginning to get quite hot in this room. I don't want to get up and turn off this here because I know as soon as I do it's going to get freezing cold again.
True Wizard, hello. How goes the magic? Oh man, that's the other thing I was doing like all day today until my car stressed me out. <laughs> was uh, I've been planning a D&D campaign of my friends who I would play D&D with are aware of this campaign yet. But I've been figuring out how it would work before I try to like convince them to play. And I'm so excited about it because I have so many ideas. Yeah, and also speaking of wizards, what's up with that orb gazing meme? <laughs> Where did that come from out of nowhere? I feel like I saw it like once or twice like a week ago, and now I'm seeing it like every day. Is that like a magic card? Like Magic the Gathering? Is that what that's from? It looks like it would be. Uh, Magic card art.
Jinx, hello, welcome. How are you? Jesse drawing today. We got us a pensive beach boy. School's been exhausting, oh no. My condolences. Glad you're able to chill with a book though. money could show, but also death is a vibe. Is that wide enough? Yeah, it's close enough. Close. stuff that's going to be dank. Nice. Mm. 
What job does Kai have? Kai is a chef. He works at the pizza place that Tank works at. He make the pizza, Tank deliver the pizza. Sorry. But in my defense, it's never a bad time for pizza, so. I'm sorry, but I'll see you. I have next year's Halloween costumes figured out. Cecil his mom, oh no. Oops. Cecil's like hedonism bot, if anything.
I was gonna say that I was going to do the uh, the boy and then the background. But I've decided to do the background first. Where is that color? I think it's this one. You're gonna make one swell bear. Hey, hey. Welcome, Bridge. And thank you. Also, I'm glad I finally got to see one of my new poets. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts vibes. I thought the same thing, and I think it's the vest over the short sleeve shirt. is oldest, uh, then Kai, then Junior, then Cecil, then Tank, then Jesse, then Roz. It's like the same as their age base, or the same as their height. I think their height goes in the same order. So that gradient still kind of comes through, though. And next I need... Yeah, that is it. Um, and I haven't fully figured out all of their ages exactly yet. I never really settled down on that entirely. Um, but the last time I had some sort of an age kind of calculated was that um, Jesse and Tank were 24 and Felix was 29. But Kai wasn't around. Uh, when I came up with that at the time. It just kind of goes to show how long ago it was. Um, let's go with this. Oh no. 
those weren't supposed to be on that layer. Oh, those were so perfect. I'm quite sad about this. And that layer had a gradient on it too, so it's not like I can just kind of copy and paste them. Sad day for your boy. is by. Some of the other ones are a mystery. For the sake of, like, plot. <laughs> um, but no, uh, Felix is Pan. Uh, Roz is Ace. And the other ones I haven't really figured out. basically just like the character names because every now and again I'll come up with like a good name and then I'll be like oh yeah I gotta draw this person and then I completely forget to draw them Color. 
basically going up to the edge of the water line here. And this will be like a little bit of shadow on the sand. For, oh no, for like where the sand is wet, but not uh, in the water anymore. It's like a very little thing in the grand scheme of like drawing beaches and sand, but I feel like every time I do it, it makes it look a little more lively. Same with these little just random little sand dune type shapes. Oh, my screen did that thing. are concentrated. Premium vibes. Locally grown, grass-fed vibes. cruelty-free vibes. Ethically sourced vibes. Yeah, that's fine, I think. I don't want to get too crazy with these. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Who is ready for Thanksgiving? I'm ready for like the break that will come from Thanksgiving. I'm very bad at not taking time off. So I've needed a break for a while. But I'm one of those people that like I'm going somewhere like if I'm taking time off I want to be going somewhere because if not people are just gonna like call me anyway and be like hey you're not doing anything do this for me really fast 
it won't take that long. Just do it real quick. I think I want to go with this for this. sure I only get the Thursday off, but Thursday is usually my like long day, so I'll take it. The top of these shouldn't be getting light the way they were, so I'm gonna fix that now. that by the way. I hope it's good. I was considering getting it because that's the generation that I skipped, but at the same time it's like, yeah I know how Pokemon games usually go at this point in my life. I can save some money. <laughs> I have other games to play. 400 year old pumpkin cheesecake recipe. Whoa. sounds like it's gonna be either very good or like accidentally some sort of ritual summon or some sort of spooky yeah I don't know uh, I just like skipped it it wasn't like an intentional choice it was just like a thing that happened came out and I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. Actually, I think what it was was that I didn't have a DS. I probably would have gotten it had I had one. Spooky. If it causes like some infernal flames to erupt from your kitchen, try and put them out. Because otherwise they'll add you to the statistic of people who try to like deep fry turkeys and that wouldn't be accurate. Trade DS for an actual diamond? Oh wait, and then bought him diamond. I see. I just like glanced up at that and I was like, what's happening? <laughs> what an interesting trade. Oh, but that's really adorable. He paid you back after all this time. Okay, that's enough of this. Let's go down here. Go like that. Okay, so we 
we don't need any of those anymore. but it makes it easier for me to see. Although, looking up, it may not be crazy easy for you guys to see. I'm not sure, though. The way that my current setup is, I have this like light shining right next to where my tablet is, so that you can like see it. But it also makes the biggest glare in the world on my screen, so I can't see anything on that side of the screen. Very unfortunate. I mean, I can, but the colors are like blown out and very bright, so who can say for sure? One day I'll have like one of those really fancy YouTube tutorial style setups where. The lighting is all flat and even, and looks like I'm in a studio. Won't that be nice? For now, I'm just content making my little events for my little Twitch channel. Oh yeah, I guess for great, hello. I guess while I'm streaming, now would be a good time to ask what sort of emotes would you guys want to see? I have nine more I can make, thanks to the whole everybody gets five follower emotes thing now. I have a couple in mind, but I'm curious to see uh, what you guys think as well. of you to say, but also, you're mistaken. <laughs> uh, emotes are actually, like, very interesting in the challenge that they present, uh, because not everything works as an emote. It has to be, like, there's, like, a certain level of clarity that you need to have in order for it to work at such a small size. Which tends to be a thing that I uh, overestimate, underestimate, one of those. I want this to be kind of close to the ocean color, but not quite black. So we're putting the ocean color on top of black and just kind of toning it down a little. This journey is clean and also very simple. Gee, thanks. Uh, something, something, friendship, something, something, darkness, something, something, etc. Whoops, I thought I grabbed this color and I did not. Something over here, something over here. One there. That's covered up, but I'm gonna put some there anyway. Spoilers. Spoilers for what? 
I'm so confused, what do I do? Oh, the friendship darkness thing? Is that what we're going to about? I forgot his ear. Uh... Friendship and darkness, oh no. My condolences to you. Should have known better. I'll uh, go fire up my notes app and start recording an apology video. Right now, I said a lot of things in my past that I regret. I'm not the same person I was. And then go back to doing exactly the same thing in about like a month. Maybe less. Let's play all the games. <laughs> this is a video I never thought I'd have to make. <laughs> it's like the same energy as the uh, anime fight where he's like, forgive me teacher. I have to use this move just this once. My forbidden technique. What is my favorite holiday? Probably Halloween. Halloween just kind of always has a really neat vibe. Yeah, Christmas is cool. Presents are neat. But I don't know, something about the vibe of Halloween is just always pretty neat, pretty chill. There's so much like variation to it, I guess. In that it's like, It's always generally kind of spooky or whatever. Oh, that's the wrong color, that's why. It's like, what's happening? Um, it's always like kind of spooky. But there's like different flavors of spooky that you can have, I guess. Plans for Christmas boys. I hadn't really considered it, to be totally honest with you. I'm trying to think of what I did last year, and I think it was just tank in a Santa suit. And I think the year before that was tank, Felix, and... Theo together. I haven't drawn Theo in such a long time. Maybe I'll just like adapt him to another character in this setting that I am more active in, I suppose.
Yeah, Theo is always outside the main verse. He's in a whole other story. It's not as complex of a story. But maybe one day I'll go back to it or something. The problem really came from the fact that I just don't really know uh, how I want to draw his counterpart in that story. Uh, what was their name? Rue? I think is what I decided to call them. But I couldn't quite decide how I wanted them to look. So, procreate, please. Please. Please let these touch commands work. There we go. Um, yeah. I couldn't really quite decide on how I wanted that uh, character to look, so. I kind of just over time stopped thinking about that story as much. And then suddenly ended up with seven boys to constantly be thinking about with this universe, I guess. The hero who slays Cecil. The hero of legend. Krampus Cecil though, interesting. Cecil's going to come in the night and carry you away in a basket. Too spooky. Mariah carries Cecil. Oh no. Let's try this color. Oh boy. That's tough to see. Try this and see how this looks. I'm just gonna do all of it at once, and then if I don't like it, I'll change it after. I don't like it. It's too similar to his undershirt, so I'm gonna make it a different color in a minute. Too 
fine. happening oh it's because I have this group that was it exactly okay Whew. Thought I was about to have a problem the 
this move. What I'm doing is selecting, I, I took all the layers that have color on them and I flattened them into this one. So I'm selecting that layer, uh, which gives me all the area that I colored in inverting it so it's just everything outside of our boy here. And we're kind of clearing that area. So what that does is now all those gradients are just on him, not so much on our background. are they? Uh, well, Jesse and Junior are white. Uh, Felix is black with a little bit of Latino. Uh, Tank is half black and half white. is an interesting one. He's a Pacific Islander in descent, but he does not know specifically where from. That's another little plot thing that I have not really found a way to fully work into any picture with him. But that was like part of his reason for getting all the tattoos. to have a very finicky setup for uh, capturing art stuff um, until eventually I just decided to do this thing with the webcam. Um, it worked out also. Oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, it worked out also because it could like show movements doing stuff, uh, which is pretty nice. I can sort of explain certain things that you wouldn't normally see if I was just recording my screen. Um, so that's been pretty cool. The only downside is that the colors are slightly not accurate um, to what I'm doing here on my screen versus what you guys can see, but that's fine. You'll see the whole thing before the end of the day on various social media platforms. So it's fine. I'm not worried about it. You can end up with two cams. It could be done. I've seen it. There was a uh, one of my favorite uh, stream setups from a streamer whose name I forget because I haven't really watched her but she did have a gag with her stream setup that I loved, which was, uh, 
she had like one like regularly placed webcam for like most of the time and then she had one that was like kind of at a different angle like a cutaway essentially so whenever uh, something goofy would happen she could do like that turns and looks deadpan at the camera kind of move and I thought that was very clever and funny and it was like extra zoomed in too which was pretty great I wish I could remember what her name was but I cannot my gradient got messed up somewhere yeah exactly Ryan that's not what I want. I want uh, the blurry thing. Um, but I always thought if I had a camera setup, that would be the kind of setup I would want camera setup that's not like specifically for art stuff I would overdo it though because it's so funny to me <laughs> I would do it way too much getting so many additional cameras though I'm not gonna do all that I look like I'm living in some sort of cyberpunk Orwellian society <laughs> like eight different cameras in front of me cam situation is because then I would like 100% of the time be concerned with my appearance and not what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm far too self-conscious. to the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack like almost exclusively so this is the first time I'm listening to like other music in a little while but I rewatched it uh, before watching well I had rewatched it intending to watch the live action one right after but then after seeing exactly two clips of the live action one I was like I don't think I need to watch this actually so I didn't. But the soundtrack to Cowboy Bebop is very good. It's one of the few like anime soundtracks that I will just listen to on its own.
that they are enjoying. It's still so early too. Wow, I just checked the time. My usual like uh, sort of kind of timeline is that I would like to like the way I can tell if I'm gonna need to start rushing or not is if I haven't started doing any color by 10 but I'm already like well past that and it's only just 10 now I think it's mostly from all the drawing I did earlier today kind of already got me warmed up a little which is pretty nice So thanks again to any of the follows and subs and raids. So I had to put those in today. Uh, I drew the alerts for my channel earlier. I only have three right now the three that usually happen to me so I was like yeah but I like had been thinking about what kind of alerts I wanted for a couple of days now so I have like far too many sound files on my computer of like maybe I'll use this for something later and you're gonna make one swell bear Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. See, look at that. The alerts are coming in handy already. Wow. outfits this is like the most complex outfit I've drawn in a long time <laughs> it's almost always just like a t-shirt or a tank top if it's tank but I appreciate the kind words hair is such a neat color in this one because of the way I usually do color um, where I just kind of make everything a color and then slap some stuff on top of it to make everything look like it's meant to be that way uh, Jesse tends to have the most interesting hair colors I usually have to apply whatever filter like crazy hard to him. Because his hair is so dark. I guess it also applies to Kai because they have the same hair color, but still. I feel like I don't do it quite as often with Kai. 
Oops. You could totally do it. The only difference between me and anyone else in this chat is that I have spent more time drawing these boys. You have drawn them as much as I have. You could do this too. It's easy. I believe in you. Anybody could do it. As a friend of mine likes to say, it's not rocket surgery. I always wanted to try, uh... A fine kind of bear he turned out to be. Oh. He didn't even know how to act like a bear. Takero, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I always kind of wanted to try like doing a how to draw thing. Oh, that's too much. I do please. Um, for these boys, but I'm like worried that it would turn into like that how to draw an owl thing. make sunglasses with like three or four different layers but yes I could see how that would be helpful and I agree I probably take too many steps to make the sunglasses that I make but it's fine I don't draw them a ton so it's not like it's something that comes up all the time. Yeah, basically, Jenks. Just like that. That meme with the owl. It's like step one, draw two circles. Step two, draw a third circle. Step three, draw the rest of the owl. Prostitution? No. That's a uh, commission. That's how those work. Something I have not any time for, unfortunately. 
Go to my red bubble page. I need to add more things to that. I'm so bad at like doing things for like any sort of promotional situation. Like I haven't made a new Giphy sticker in a long time. I haven't added anything to the red bubble in a long time. so much time I may as well do a light layer is going nice. Congrats, my guy. Headaches are pretty awful. I used to get migraines a lot when I was little, and those are the worst. this one little stripe here. Um, sometimes all it takes is like a teeny little line to really like sell the 3D-ness of an object or shape. Um, 
but this is a trick that I learned for doing like cracks in like stone or metal is that you always have a, a little bit of a light on the side that's like if your light's coming from this way and the line is like here the light would go on the opposite side of the vertical line but facing the direction of the light I feel like I'm explaining that badly but like if the light was coming from this way the line would go on this this side and it's like one of those like very little things that like really will stand out and it doesn't take like anything at all to do but people will see and be like whoa look at that looks so real so detailed it's like all i did was draw one line that's my secret to you of the day i guess although it's not really a secret Oh, the fracking. <laughs> of things about RuPaul, but I know about the fracking thing, and it makes me laugh every time. It is very rare that I get tired of that particular joke.
generous of drag. What a title. That's probably fine. I'll we'll turn this down even more so you can see. Turn this here a little bit. Turn this on the values. And since I have so much extra time, I'm doing some color folks this time, friends. generous of boy drawings. Oh no. Scream at my tablet and abuse my pen. I mean, probably. Not really, though. I do question Procreate a lot when it doesn't respond to my touch commands. But that's about as bad as it gets. then I'd like don't want to incur the wrath of Procreate because they're really cool. <laughs> they retweeted one of my drawings once. I was like, wow. Senpai noticed me. It was very surreal. carried away with these but it's always very difficult to do for these particular things good night jinx thanks for hanging out get some rest after your long day
to separate this leg as being behind the other one. Even though this light here probably wouldn't be anywhere near this drastic or dramatic or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, it helps to add just the tiniest little bit of depth here. Which is why I'm doing it. now. Oops. So this thing. I usually end these drawings with like one or two gradients just sort of over top everything. Um, it helps to sort of unify the colors a little bit more because, again, I'm bad at those. Uh, but also, part of the secret sauce is uh, gradient maps. And those work a lot better when you have a whole bunch of gradients everywhere. Since they added gradient maps to Procreate, I haven't had to try and use like a filter on Instagram or anything like that. Because that used to be how I would uh, unify some colors, is I would do this gradient thing and then sort of tweak it with a filter on Instagram. But I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore because that like destroys the resolution for elsewhere. So doing it this way helps me keep pretty good quality. Um, so since this is warmer, This is one of the times where it's like very, very difficult to see what the difference is between having this and not having this. Uh, for for you guys, I mean. It's quite a drastic difference for me, but for you guys, not so much. I'm going to try this one from yesterday, see what this does. is that I try not to be super uh, heavy with these because it's very easy to like very quickly blow your colors way off so that your darks are like way too dark and your light stuff is like way too light. I think that's good. Oops.
Yeah. Uh, so that about does it for this one, I think. Just gonna come in here and add this little... I'm deleting this one pixel so that when I export this as a PNG, it technically has a transparency to it, which means it'll be a little less likely to be crunched down on uh, Twitter and such. Um, but yeah, let's uh, hit that replay. And uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's been fun. Um, got to see some of the fun new alerts and things. Nobody did any hugs I, that I saw, but that's fine. There's always time for more hugs. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'll see you guys probably on Wednesday. Um, I'm not 100% sure, considering there's a holiday the day right after, but we'll see what happens. for hanging out. As always, you can find this drawing and many more like it on uh, my Twitter and Instagram, where my name is the same as it is here. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah. <laughs> It'll be there in like 10, 15 minutes or something. I don't know. back at some point but in the meantime i hope everyone has a wonderful week um go do something nice for somebody i guess and uh yeah we'll see uh see if something cool happens i suppose i, I don't know i, I don't i guess i, I, I don't know i'm not sure uh, but yeah good night everybody I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.